So this month, we thought we'd talk about the headlines. And what we find is usually the headlines are actually behind the curve. And that was definitely the case this month. Um, we saw two different headlines that were a little perplexing given what we're experiencing in the current market, right? Yeah, definitely. And the first one being Brooklyn. Um, yeah. Brooklyn has been absolutely on fire yeah. uh, for the last couple of years. Yeah. And we are, and, and we have just seen record setting prices. Uh, and that was and the headline. And that was the headline. Yeah. And it was the most recent headline we saw a few days ago. But the reality is, is we've really seen things slow down there over the last month or two. Especially above 1.5 million. Yes. You know, we had a, um, a listing recently at 125 and that went really quickly and there was a bidding war. But a lot of what we're seeing uh, and hearing from other agents is Brooklyn's been slowing down. Things yes. are not moving as, as they were even six months ago. And I don't think, oftentimes we, you know, we point to seasonality. People yeah. aren't here, people are away. Yeah. But it's not, I don't think that's the case. Yeah, it was happening I before think, the season. Yeah. yeah. And, and I do think what we saw, a, a part of it is buyer and seller expectations and right. pricing. I do yeah. think prices were going up, they were going up, they were going and up. Sellers wanted and more. we saw kind of things hit a wall a little bit. Right. So I think part of it is, is that, you know, I think sellers kind of, pushed as far as they can go yep. in this environment. Um, but we've also, I think we've seen demand level out a little bit. Yeah, so it could have been the ceiling. Yeah, that could yeah. just be the, the markets reached a, a height and now things will calm down a little bit. And then I think the other interesting headline we saw was about cash deals in Manhattan. 64% oh of all deals in Manhattan were cash. Yeah. And that's incredible if you think about it, just how much money is out there. Um, and, you know, it's really dictating deals. But the thing about Manhattan, very much unlike Brooklyn, is Manhattan has been a much slower market. We've seen prices decreasing. Yes. So it's a good time to buy in Manhattan. And I think that's what we're seeing in this amazing number of so many cash deals. Yeah. And I don't think this is a surprise uh, yeah. as we see as interest rates continue to stay where they are, as we continue to see lar one of the largest wealth transfers from, from boomers to the millennial and Gen Z generations. Yeah. Um, it's not a surprise that we're seeing this many cash deals. Right, and also the markets have been performing really well. And so there's more money that has been made and yeah. can be deployed in diversifying your different assets and that being real estate in this case. Yeah. So uh, it's been an interesting uh, month of headlines and uh, we're excited to see what happens in our fall market. It's a little unknown uh, with the election, but as always, we're here. We're happy to talk and chat about anything and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.